A quick announcement for if you want to take your trading to the next level. I recently started a profitable trading signal group in which I show you and I send signals of all of my trades. If you want to join this group or if you're interested in that, go check out the first link down in the description or in the pinned comment. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Welcome to this video in which we'll talk about Render and the RNDR token. Um, has been very bullish in the last hour after kind of the inflation rate has... Um, has concluded um, right now it's probably up like, like 10 percent something like that 10 12 percent something yeah 14 percent right now even though volume is down um, but yeah there has been quite a lot of bullish momentum ever bullish momentum ever since the inflation rate some of the volume sources as we know from render token are a little bit shady but it's it's nothing to worry about it's kind of the uh, normal business right now um, results of the inflation rate as most of you know were actually quite negative uh, and we saw initial bullish momentum in the markets, but right now that seems to be cooling down as well, as you can see, um, quite a bit. This will uh, drop down in a moment. And you can also see that the dollar strength index, where it was bearish at first, is actually quite bullish right now. So the market is really still finding a direction and therefore analyzing cryptos like these uh, is very risky as well as trading it. Uh, but we'll take that into account fully in this analysis. So don't worry too much about that. Uh, will also be quite a quite a short-term analysis but that's uh, that's just what we have to do in the upcoming days once we actually know the direction of the market we can uh, say a little bit more about the prices for now though what we have uh, or, or what we are trying to do is to break through this uh, resistance level at 1.65 that level has been our main resistance for the last couple of days we tried to break through that sunday tried to do the same monday morning weren't able to do so and then because of bearish momentum in the markets we actually dropped down all the way to 1.5 1.44 and from there today we've tried again and it looks like we're doing it all right this candle closes in three minutes um so just after the uh, the ending of this video probably and we are probably going to st uh, break above 1.65 unfortunately that's not the end of it uh, breaking above it is amazing but we have now found resistance at 1.75 which is also a very strong resistance level as you can see right here but it also houses the 0 0.5 fib so the main thing what's going to happen is that we're going to drop down find support at this level between 1.65 and 1.63 now the only way in which render could stay bullish even though it looks like the market is going the other way is if we are actually able to hold 1.62 1.63 if we can hold that for the next 24 hours then i actually think we can continue all the way up to 1.85 and 1.9 and then we can also start talking about two dollars again at this point of time though because the dollar strength index is uh, rapidly increasing in price i am i'm afraid that we will break above 1.62 1.63 um, and we might even find some support there but that it will not hold for 24 hours and that it will break after which we will drop down to 1.5 1.44 find support there um, but from there as i said it's, it's really going to be a short-term analysis because from there i think we'll find support again uh, but whether we can actually from there get up to 1.9 or whether we will drop down to our next support level around 1.2 1.25 it depends a lot on what the dollar strength index and what bitcoin are doing and at this point of time i just cannot i, I, I just cannot predict that well enough uh, because the market i think at least always reacts very weird after inflation rates like these so i'll be back with an update fairly <clears throat> very soon but consider this a very short-term analysis right so for the next 48 hours at the very maximum uh, hopefully you still thought it was valuable as i said just as a, qu a quick recap 1.63 1.62 is really the main level if we can hold that for the next two, uh, 24 hours that also means that the market is probably still bullish then we can actually continue this and we can start talking about maybe making new local tops as well um, but if it if, if it does not hold we'll probably drop back down and uh, the bearish momentum will at least stay another day so that's my take on random for today if you do have any questions let me know uh, but for now, take care, enjoy your day, and bye.